Right, okay, so we established that if we say that this is a one twisted pair and this is the other one, that we had a distance from the top of those at 2260. But as we see on our circle, our measurement is to this side of the pier. But as the arch turns round, we can see that the point will gradually come further and further right. And at its furthest point, it's going to be, this is, we've already measured this, 68 millimetres. So when we do our arch centre, we've got to make sure our arch centre starts 68 millimetres away from the pier, so that as it comes round, it doesn't um, foul up um, on the actual arch centre. So um, again, our arch centre will start 68 millimetres away from the pier, and the same the other side as well. Right, okay, so we know here that on this one we've uh, established we're going to have a 300 millimeter radius. Now to get the radius for the main top of the arch, uh, what we have to do is we've established where we're going to finish that, that point, which we said was 300 mil along there, uh, and the same the other side there. So we had, we've marked our centre mark here, haven't we? This is our centre mark, and we are going to be 500 millimetres, that's a 500 millimetre rise. So all we do then is we draw a line between these two, and using a compass, I'll just do this freehand, but using a compass we put a point in there, do an arc, then we keep the radius the same, and we put the compass point in there and mark there and there and then we draw a line through those two and then we do the same on this side so this is just um, what we call bisecting an angle so the compass point would be in there and we do an arc there and there then we put the compass point in there and we do the same arc and then we add the join these ones up like so, and then that then becomes our straighten point for the top arc, so that's what we're going to do. Point to the rise. Not 
just there is our striking point. Okay, so we've uh, just worked out on the extra DOS and um, the bricks are obviously radiating down so these will all be cut into a wedge shape, uh, twist at the same time which is going to be quite uh, tricky. Uh, now as we look in the centre, uh, we've got to make sure that we work uh, symmetrically to that. Now we've got to be a header on this one because on the two piers the brick that starts off is a stretcher. So we've got a stretcher there. So this one's got to be a header. So when we get all the way around to the middle, we don't want to be joint over joint. So we must have an odd number of bricks from here to here. So we must finish centre of a brick on that one. So we'll just mark our gauge out now. So a little bit of trial and error. So we've got to have hopefully around about 12 bricks evenly spaced on here when we've got them so we're happy with them we'll mark the gauge onto the former and then it's ready to cut out Let's just check that we're 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, which is nice, because that's the odd. So for example, this will be a header, a header, a header, a header. So this will be a header, 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 this will be a header. So a stretcher there, and then again, symmetrically, a header go on the newer image from everything we've got there. So that works nicely. So all I've got to do now is make sure that I'm happy that the joints are all even. And then once they are, the couple here just look a little bit on the bigger side. Right, I'm quite happy with that. So, mark all my joints. Same on the other side, 
and then we'll start to cut this side out and the other and put it all together.